Hey, wait, 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 just hold on, hold, hold, hold on right now. If you're viewing this, that means you want to know how I've been able to control my thoughts. Because I mean, why else would you click on this video? Well, in this video, I'll be telling you how I've been able to control my thoughts, the steps and the measures I take in order to push away negative and immoral things from coming to my mind. And trust me, this is going to be a solution to your problems. After this video, you would not battle with negative and immoral thoughts anymore. So hold on, I'll be right back. Hello guys, so welcome back again to my channel at Life Through His Lens, a channel which is aimed at reflecting God's own thoughts to you about life. And I mean, that happens to be our motto, reflecting his thoughts. So hey, please don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification button, comment, like, and share this video to your friends and family. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to control your thoughts. How to control your thoughts. And this happens to be a very, very huge issue for many people. You know, as we are Christians, quite all right, but we are also human beings. And because we are human beings, it's very, very hard for us to actually stop negative stuff from coming to our mind. Especially if you're a matured Christian. If you're someone who is, who have read the age of teenagehood. If you're someone who is like 13 upwards, you'll find out that it's very, very hard for you to stop negative thoughts from coming your way. But don't worry, I will be telling you how I've done it, how I'm still doing it, and how it's working for me, if and only if you will follow these steps that I'll be outlining here today. Number one, mind your company. Know the sort of people you have as your company. Who are those people you let into your inner circle? See, the Bible says that evil communications corrupt good manners. You cannot have a very, very wrong and, you know, out of God's ways and people as friends and then you expect to have clean thoughts it does not work that way you have to actually sieve sieve the people you want to be your friends and what do I mean by sieving I mean by sieving I mean know the sort of people you actually relate with know the sort of people that influence you because let me tell you no one is a stone as long as you actually move with a particular sort of people as long as you actually move with a kind of people they will influence you in one way or the other so the number one step to take is to actually mind your company mind your company beds of the same feathers flock together number two not all songs are bad, but there are some songs that are bad for you. Everybody has their own sort of dealing. Everybody has this, this sort of way that they're actually taking things. Nobody is same. Nobody is equal. And by that, I mean like the things that affect me will possibly not be the same things that will affect you. You have to know yourself. And if, you're, if you actually know yourself, then you will know that there are some songs you should not listen to. Not because they may be bad per se, but because of the sort of negative influence they have on you. There are some emotional songs that you should not listen to. Are they bad? No. But you do know that whenever I listen to those songs, you're actually blown away. You begin to think about some things that you wouldn't actually think about on a normal day. Day. So what am I trying to say? Know the sort of songs you listen to. And this also applies to movies. Know the sort of movies that you watch. Not all movies are bad per se, but there are movies that are bad for you. So see the sort of movies you watch. Check out my previous video on what songs slash movies do to you. Check out my previous video on what songs and movies do to you. And watch it for you to actually understand what I'm talking about, okay? Number three, know your love language. See, eh, Gary Chapman actually spoke about different love languages. Some people's love language may be touch. Your own might be probably gifts or maybe respect, attention and all. You as a person should know your love language. And why am I talking about love language in relation to this now? Is because, see, you might actually be moving with the right set of people. You might actually be, you might actually have a right company. But then if you don't know your love language, you find out that you're, you're aroused. You're, you're always aroused by things that people do. For example, now let's say I'm um, um, okay, I happen to be in university now, and then my love language is touch, and then I don't know that my love language is touch. So then I have this particular friend of mine, and he, he always puts his hand on my shoulders, you know, normal, normal stuff that happens in university now between friends. And then whenever he does that, I begin to feel like, you know, I become so sensitive and I begin to feel so much, so much, and then I go home, and that's that's that scene just keeps playing in my head and in my mind and everything. No, that is not right. You should know what, what, what actually arouses you. You should know what actually 
um what actually makes you sexually driven do you understand know your love language if you don't know your love language there are books on that maybe you can check out our chapman's book on that i'll be dropping the link in the comment section so please endeavor to to read that book for you to actually understand what your love language is this is very very important if you want to avoid negative thoughts i've put this in my life and it's working and i'm very very sure that if you actually apply this in your life it would stop you from thinking negatively okay number four have something doing it's very very amazing and very very interesting and surprising that are actually people that spend 24 hours in a day doing nothing like oh my god what are you doing like i can't just believe you're actually existing and you're not living i don't know how you spend up 24 hours in a day doing nothing just touching your phone chatting watching tv and just doing nothing see eh? an idle man is the devil's workshop you cannot be doing anything that don't expect negative thoughts to come your way. Or more, you're not a stone, you're actually a human being. Like, you, your mind, you just want to think about something. And that's why you should have something doing. Occupy yourself, do something. Just just look for something to do. If there, if there are dirty plates in the house, wash it. If, there are, if the house is dirty, clean it or something. Just look for something that will actually push your mind, that will actually put your mind on something. Because, see, if your mind is focused on something, it will be very, very hard to actually think about something that is not right. Okay, you have to have something doing. Learn a skill. Read books. Number five, there is something that the Bible said about words. Words. Words are very, very important. As little as it may be, they are they like, eh? It is one of the ways you can actually build yourself or break yourself. The Bible says that let my words be seasoned with salt and full of grace. Hmm. Now, the fifth step to take if you want to avoid negative thoughts from storing up in your heart or in your mind is to know the sort of words that proceed from your mouth. See, and when I talk about words, I don't mean just talking alone. I'm, talk I'm talking about even chatting. There are, some, there, are some, there are some things you chat that some people call it sex chatting. You might say, eh, I'm not talking about sex, I'm not doing this. But there are some ways, like there's a way you chat, man, that it will store up in your mind. And when you're all alone, you'll just be smiling and be laughing about and maybe this guy that you, you were chatting with and then just be laughing and all that. It is not wrong, but know the sort of things, know the sort of things you say. Know the sort of people that you talk to, even online. WhatsApp, Facebook, wherever you are, Twitter, wherever, Instagram, wherever. Know the sort of things that you could talk about. Because these things have the opportunity, these things have the, these things have the, the ability to actually determine what you think about, what stores up in your mind okay avoid words that you know are not godly avoid chatting stupid stupid things irrelevant things that you know are not helping your life avoid it now finally and the most important one is to actually pray see you cannot actually like prayer is very very important there is nothing that prayer cannot do there is nothing god cannot do for you the Bible says that in, with him, all impossibilities become possible. Like, if you find out that you're actually battling with negative thoughts, you're actually battling with immoral stuff, the best person to run to is to your father who is in heaven. And he would help you. As little as this may be, he is very, very, he's very much interested in this. So speak to him. Pray to God and tell him, Abba, I need your help on this. I do not want to defile your temple. Because your word says that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I do not want to defy your temple with, neg with negative thoughts, with iniquity, you know, things that you know he does not really like. So pray to God and trust me, he's going to listen to you and help you. Hey, hey, I just gave you a secret now and I hope and I really, really pray that you put it into practice. Everything I've said, for you to actually sit down and listen to everything I've, I've said means you really, really want to win the battle. You really, really want to win this battle against negative thoughts and trust me i am standing with you and i'm joining my faith with you you that is watching this video right now i want you to know that as long as i was able to do it as long as i am still able to push away negative thoughts from my mind you can do it too all you need to do is to actually follow each and every of these steps that i've actually listed here today and trust me you will come back with a testimony yeah all right guys we've come to the end of this episode this video don't cry, okay? Because I'll be coming your way next time again with another interesting topic. Yeah. Please, uh, if you really, if there's any topic you want me to talk about, something that will be bothering you that, that relates to Christianity, please don't fail to drop it in the comment section. I will try as much as possible to reply to it. And if God gives me permission, I'm definitely going to discuss such topic, okay? 
So, all right, guys, till I come your way next time, same time. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. This is still life through his legs. Bye. And we run it your love. Your goodness looks good enough.